So in the last video, you got to see a lot of assembly. This video took place on April the 5th. It was an all day, beautiful Sunday, a little over five and a half hours. And this is section 8-13, steps one and two. It's all about riveting. I'm going through and I'm using the soldering gun again, and or soldering iron rather, and removing plastic and then riveting. And you can see what I'm doing, going back and forth and, and riveting uh, along that uh, front spar uh, down inside. And it's, it's a long process. In fact, all I'm doing is riveting this entire thing over the course of the next week and a half. Uh, I'll have more videos as I do, you know, the various bits. You'll see right there, I'm wrapping up uh, my tools and I'm putting tape on uh, the head of the rivet gun because if you look right here, uh, you can see how without the tape on the head of the riveter, it's kind of discoloring, the metal on metal is discoloring the skin, which I really, really didn't like that. Um, read online and some people suggested putting like, you know, blue painter's tape. And the result is this, much, much cleaner. Um, you have to replace the blue painter's tape every um, 100 rivets or so because it does get mashed and deformed, but suddenly it, I'm not leaving marks on the metal, which uh, I'm sure that is, it's completely not noticeable. Like once you paint this thing, I'm sure it'd be completely unnoticeable, but for me, it just looked cleaner. Uh, so that's why I went that route. Step one for this was actually riveting on those two uh, outer inspar ribs. All of the other steps, or rather I guess the rest of this, this entire rest of this video is just for step two, which is about uh, riveting on the hundreds of rivets to the skin itself. Uh, I don't know that I have a lot more to talk to there. Um, I think I've learned a lot about riveting at this point. Um, I think in the beginning I was kind of performing the death grip uh, on the both the rivet gun and the bucking bar. And actually I've kind of learned that you can be a lot gentler uh, with both. And just the mass of the bucking bar bouncing back and forth is what actually flattens the shop head of the rivet. You don't need to like put a lot of pressure on it. Uh, in fact, it's a bad idea to put pressure on it because it will actually deform the skin uh, and just kind of mangle the back end if you're not careful. And it took me a little while to learn that, but I think I'm getting pretty good at it now. So if I have uh, any piece of advice, I would say go easy. Don't do the death grip. Um, for those of you pilots out there, you know what I'm talking about. You, you know, the first time you could put somebody, you give them the, the yoke and they, you know, are white knuckle holding on to the yoke. Same thing here. Uh, you know, you don't need to do that. You can be real gentle. Um, I also tried a number of different camera views this time, by the way. Um, the, obviously the the video here, the camera's up high. It's actually uh, hanging from the rafters, uh, which you can see in some of my other videos where I've got the skins and whatnot hanging down. That's where the camera is here now. Uh, I'm also trying different camera speeds so I can speed and slow things or speed things up and slow things down as I need. Uh, here I've got it intentionally sped up, but I actually can slow it back down and still get a reasonable uh, frame rate and battery life, which is important. The other thing I'd like to point out is that uh, you have to do basically four times the work. And by that I mean, uh, you can see I'm drilling out a mistake I made there. Uh, each panel, you know, you've got top side one, top side two, then bottom side one, bottom side two, and it's just four identical bits of riveting. And so it got tedious, uh, but, you know, I, I managed to get a big chunk of it done um, throughout the day. But even so, I'm still just doing the riveting of the skin to that front spar assembly, not all the inspar ribs. So even after all of this is done, and this is a really long video, even after it's all done, I'm not even half done with this piece. And there you can see my wife and I are having a conversation about something. I forget what. I had forgotten she had actually come out there actually. Has to come out and check on me every once in a while to make sure I'm still alive. Anyway, I don't know that there's much more I can ramble about here. I mean, it's the it's the same thing over and over again. Um, I may talk later, but for now, I'll let you watch and uh, enjoy. I'm kind of wondering if I should put background music in here sometimes, um, or answer user questions or something like that. Uh, 
make note and make, you know make a comment or something if there's something you guys want to know or hear when uh, when I'm not talking. Another camera angle change here because I figured exactly what you guys need to see is the top of my balding head. Probably won't be doing this again. And from this angle, wow, my desk is really dirty. Just crap everywhere. I need to be better about cleaning up my work area. It's kind of embarrassing. And just when you think, yay, I got it all done, oh, you flip it around and have to start all over on the other side. Yay. <laughs> it's really not that bad. I mean, it, you know, I knew what I was getting into. If nothing else, this is a, probably a much better view, so you can kind of see as I go. But if it's all the same to you, I think I'm going to speed this video up a little bit, because you probably don't really need to see this in even, you know, 10x speed. Uh, to get the idea. It's just a lot of the same thing over and over again. One thing I will say is uh, prepare to like bleed for your plane if you're going to make one of these things. So because I'm using soldering iron, I of course burnt myself a couple of times. Nothing major, just you know held it in the wrong spot for a second and ow. But I've also, my hands are all scraped and cut up from rubbing against the inside of some of those um, pieces of metal before I had deburred them or removed the sharps and um, you know, you, you assemble it once and then you unassemble and then that's when you do all the deburring. And so my, my hands are all kind of messed up. You think a paper cut's bad? Try an aluminum cut sometime. I mean, seriously, my hands are sore. A couple times I've, I've put on like, uh, the alcohol, uh, cleaning lotion or whatever the heck it's called, you know, Purell or whatever it is. And boy, you find those spots on your hands in a hurry. Anyway, that's it. Uh, I have more of the same coming over the course of the, like the next three or four videos. It's the same stuff. Anyways, thanks, guys. Look forward to it.